Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to see how Firebase Studio can auto-generate a complete app in minutes. And the best part is, it's completely free. It can build backends, frontends, and even mobile apps all in one place. This is what Firebase Studio looks like. It has a built-in preview for both web and a mobile simulator, which is super handy while you're building. And it's all powered by the Gemini API, even the latest Gemini 3 model are supported right here inside the editor. Here, you can create a new workspace, import a GitHub repo, or even upload a local folder. And the best part is, it supports almost every major language, framework, and database, which is really awesome. You can easily share your workspace with teammates or testers, letting everyone collaborate in real time. And just like Google Docs for code, you can see others editing alongside you, super smooth for team development. You can preview your full stack apps across web and Android right inside Firebase Studio, just like your users would experience them. This is the studio home where you also get sample prompts and even an I'm feeling lucky option to generate ideas instantly and attachment option. Here, click the new workspace. Firebase Studio comes with tons of templates so you can start building instantly. Web apps with Next.js, React, Angular, Svelte, and more, all ready to go. All support TypeScript also. Backend templates for Go, Flask, Java, .NET, Express, and more mobile apps with Flutter and React Native, AI templates for Gemini, GenKid, LangChain, plus real demo apps you can try, and full database starters for MongoDB, Postgres, MySQL, Prisma, and Firebase Data Connect. Whatever stack you use, there is a template waiting. No setup needed. I already had the Note Capture app concept ready, complete with an auth flow, an author dashboard and tagging, and Claude had generated the prompt for it. I took that entire prompt and pasted it into Firebase Studio. After hitting prototype with AI and submitting it, Gemini kicked in and generated the full blueprint. Within seconds, it produced the entire project structure, named the app Lightning Notes, outlined every planned feature in detail, and even added a few extra AI-powered enhancements that I didn't ask for. And below that, it even included the full style guidelines. Things like primary colors, layout direction, and the overall design look. It also generated typography rules for body text, headings, and subtitles across different variants. And finally, it added an icons and animations blueprint as well. It also listed the full tech stack, Gemini and GenKit for the AI features, and for the UI, it recommended Next.js, TypeScript, and Tailwind CSS. If you want to customize the blueprint, you can absolutely do that, but most of the time, Firebase Studio generates a solid blueprint on its own, so I'm just going to keep everything as it is. Once you submit the blueprint, Firebase Studio first starts generating all the AI feature-related code along with the required environment setup. So our app now includes AI features like tag suggestions and note summaries. Next, it moves on to generating the UI components, the main layout, and all the necessary CSS code, along with the full Tailwind CSS setup. Next, it starts generating all the dashboard-related files and components, setting up the pages, layouts, and the basic structure you'll use to manage and display your notes. Click on More Files, and you can see all the files that were generated for our project. Now it does a final check for any errors, and if it finds something, it automatically fixes it. Pretty nice. Boom, our application is ready to use. The design looks really clean, and the color choices look great. Here, you can see that we need to provide our Gemini API key. If you already have a key, you can paste it here, or you can click the Auto Generate button, and it will create a key for this project. Nice, the key is created. Before checking the web preview, I'd like to show the code it generated. Just click the switch code option and it opens a VS Code-like editor. The code it generates is actually at a professional developer level. It uses proper server actions, clean folder structures, and even integrates ShadCN UI. The editor also includes a built-in web preview option, which is really nice. And if you're building a mobile app, you can use the simulator for previewing it as well. And on the right side, there's a Gemini Power Chat. You can prompt it directly from there, or just click Switch to Prototyper again if you want to generate more changes. 
And the nice part is you can push the code directly to GitHub. Just follow the steps to connect your GitHub account, then create a new repo for this project. Rename the repo to Lightning Notes and choose whether you want it to be private or public. After that, all the generated code is pushed to our repo. Now let's check the app we got. You can open it in a new window or make the preview URL public, copy that link and paste it into a new tab. This login isn't connected to any off library yet, so you can just enter any email and password to sign in. This is our actual application and it looks really great with the dark theme, the button colors and the overall clean layout. On the left side, we have the full list of notes along with some filter options. The search input works smoothly too. Each note can have tags added to it, and you can even download any note as a markdown file, which is awesome for exporting or backing up your content. We also get two AI features built right in. One button suggests tags automatically based on the note's content, so you don't have to do it manually. And the other button summarizes long notes, giving you a quick, easy to understand overview of the important points. But right now, all this data is static. To make it real, we need to connect a database. So next, I'll update the prompt to integrate Firebase email authentication and store all the notes directly in Firebase. For the Firebase features, you don't have to write a single line of code or do any manual configuration. Firebase Studio automatically connects your project to the required Firebase services. And the same goes for OAuth, file storage, and the other features. It handles all of that setup for you. Once it's done, you'll see the Git changes right away. It even generates the commit message automatically. So if everything looks good, you can go ahead and push the code. Now I'm going to refresh the website and you'll see it automatically redirects to the login page. So I'll go ahead and create my first account through Firebase. You can see that account has been created, the auth flow is working perfectly, and the notes page is empty because the dummy data was removed. So that means we need to create a new note. When we add one, it gets stored in Firebase and it's saved only under the current user's account. So no one else can see your notes, everything stays user specific. To verify everything, open the Firebase dashboard and select the Lightning Notes project. Click on the authentication menu and you'll see the account we just created. Awesome. Next, go to the Firebase database section. Under the user's collection, you can see the note we added. So both features, authentication and database storage are working perfectly and fully connected. Finally, it also shows a set of integrations you can add to the project, things like Firebase hosting, deploy to Cloud Run, and the Gemini API, which we already enabled. And if you need more, you can integrate Google Maps, Secret Manager, and other Google Cloud tools as well. Everything is built to plug in smoothly with just a few clicks. Overall, Firebase Studio makes full stack app generation incredibly fast and effortless. And the best part is that you get all of this for free. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.